Hello again, this is Dominique, and we are making today Tropical Punch Soap. Um, I'm going to be doing three different colors, and I think I'm just going to do a plain swirl with a high top. So, go ahead and watch with me, guys. Stay tuned. Tell me what you think at the end. Um, this is my Kaylin Clay and all of my oils. Um, and this is... Go ahead and get this up here. Can't say ours been mixed in. This is my lye right here. All set and ready to go. Just gonna put that on in there. A lot of bubbles. Good job, Dominique. You messed that up. I hate bubbles. Um, best way to really avoid bubbles is to tap so when you put your your bl um, stick blender in you then know you see how the bubbles come out and you tap that's how you avoid them also pouring over the stick is supposed to eliminate the bubbles but i must have done something extremely wrong because i am filled with bubbles right now <laughs> bubble city but we'll get rid of those before we pour so let's go ahead and blend it to emulsion i don't want to get it too Far along and trace primarily because I I kind of want a fluid for today that and then I'm splitting this up into sections so I can get my own there good enough for right now um, now I'm gonna go ahead and separate my topping out move my colors out the way <laughs> I'm gonna make a mess y'all <laughs> Yay, the Sophie messes. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and tis all for that. So here are my colors, all set to ready to go. Now these colors are from Nurture Soap Supplies. Be sure to check them out, they are really, really good. Um, other colorings, um, Brambleberry is really, really good for coloring. Wholesale Supplies Plus and TKB Training, they're really, really, really nice colors. Give them a try. Um, if you if you're able to order online, um, also you know if you can, if you're really close to any of the, the some local shops, check out your local shops. You'd be surprised. Some people are lucky and have you know places where they can get things on the ground. No so no shipping. When in doubt, always look for it, guys. Give it a shot. Going to get my colors in and we'll be right back. Okay. So this is the pink again from Nurture Soap Supplies. Uh, if you have a question about which actual color it is, just let me know and I'll put it down below. But I'm going to be lazy about it and not put it in here <laughs> unless you guys ask me. Let me know what you think about the color and I'll let you know um, where it's at, where you can find it. But again, it's Nurture Soap Supplies. Check them out. They have a lot of really, really nice things. I'm thinking about getting this mold I saw there. Looks really, really nice. There we go. Wake back up. You were thickening up on me again. Don't need that in my life. There we go. There's my pink. And there it is. The pink pink. Let we all know love pink pink. I think I have pink in like every soap. Do I? No, I don't. Nope, nope, I lied. I do not have pink in every soap. I thought about putting pink in every soap. <laughs> My husband has to stop me. He says, no, baby, um, I don't think pink goes with lavender. Lavender's like purple. Yeah, I know. Maybe you can make it pink and purple. I snuck pink on it if you didn't notice. <laughs> There's a little bit. Snuck a little pink in there. Or did I? I thought about it. Okay. So now we have all our colors mixed in. I'll be right back and I'm gonna go ahead and get my mold and we'll get start pouring. So properly, <laughs> like I said, if things go properly, I have a few embeds that I plan on using for the soap. Um, so let's get started with this pouring. We're gonna do a simple drop swirl today. Um, or maybe I'll do layering. Hmm, not really sure which one I wanna do. We're about to find out what I'm about to do. We'll see you in a second.
be mad at me. I completely forgot to turn the camera on while I was piping. And I also didn't even pipe it like all the way. I just kind of like put it on there. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and start putting down my um, embeds. So as you can tell, I've marked already. I'm going to spray the top with a little bit of um, alcohol here. I marked already where I want them to go. So I'm going to do my best to try to line it up so I don't cut any of my embeds in half. Um, I don't want to do that today. alcohol on top again just to get my glitter to stick so of course I love glitter so I gotta glitter it up got my soap done and pipe down now the type the topping is not really really high it's just a little white on top that's all it is just enough to make it look cutesy that's all I was going for and lots of glitter of course one more spritz of the alcohol All right, guys, that is my soap. Um, again, this is the Tropical Punch Soap. Again, this is Dominique with Sagebrook & Company. Um, let me know what you think of it. Uh, comment down below. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and subscribe. Like if you like. Let me know what you think. Any questions or concerns or, or suggestions, I'm always open for suggestions. Um, there's always room to learn and grow. So just let me know what you think, guys. All right, thanks. Bye. See you when we cut. Stay tuned. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Um, I'm back, and we're going to go ahead and start getting cutting. Daddy, what, Christian? Did this one What, honey? Daddy, ah, I'm not back. I'm mommy. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so my son is here with me today, and we are cutting. Staying at home with mommy today, right? Every day, that's what we do. Always home with mommy, but he's awake and talking a lot. But here is the soap. This is what we made yesterday, guys. Check that out. Nice looking soap, huh? So this is the tropical punch, and we're gonna go ahead and just get it cutting. 